It's day two in Cumbria, the county where the weather can be so bad they have multiple words for rain. It's hoying it down. Here comes the party. It's mizzling down. It's stopping it down. That means it's bouncing off the ground. And hoping no one will rain on his parade tonight is apprentice bricklayer Dale, who's taking a rather informal approach to his evening. Hopefully everyone just has a good laugh and doesn't take my menu too seriously because it's just, it's comfort food, really. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Which is a marked difference to first night host Iraqi born Sarah, who wanted to give her guests a taste of her heritage. I just hope you try it and you do enjoy some of it. I think the guests last night were treated to a new experience. You know, a lot of them hadn't had Middle Eastern food before, tasted these, you know, spices and herbs. But mixologist Ash seemed underwhelmed by the experience. I was definitely expecting a bit of spice, maybe a bit of a lot of colour. Um, and I didn't really seem to get that at all. With a score of 23 out of 40, it would seem the others felt the same. If the food was lacking a little spice, some of the chat definitely wasn't. A lot of the, the cattle, the, the pump full of antibiotics. Sarah has got a few opinions. Ash was uh, quick to jump on one of those last night. Yeah. I, grew, I grew up on a dairy farm. I get ill all the time. In this country? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Think? <laughs> I don't no. think so. <laughs> Ash, I think it's quite obnoxious, really. I like to give people a chance, so it could have been nerves. It's not just Sarah that's wary of Ash. Recycling operative Vicky also has her concerns. Ash, I thought, was a little bit stuck up. We'll just wash some Cumbria stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some fresh cutlery, Ash? Please, yeah. yeah. I've yeah. Seen him like no, a few no bother. So at yeah. least we know who the posh one is out of all of us. <laughs> And when it comes to 50-year-old property developer Rob... <laughs> ..it seems his unusual charms are having a positive effect on the girls. Rob's quite big. He is very, very funny and witty. If you had the attention of the whole world for 10 seconds, what would you say or what would you tell them? Worship me. <laughs> I think they think I'm arrogant and cocky, but, like, everybody wants to get to know me. They realise that it's just fun and I'm not meaning any harm. It's like an onion, really. There's going to be a lot of layers to go through and I think once we get to his night, we'll see the real Rob. Back to Dale's night and what are the guests expecting from him? I think Dale's food might be very British. Manly food, boy food, a lot of it. I left Sarah's with a fairly empty stomach. Tonight, I want everyone leaving with the top button of the jeans on top leg. And the first of Dale's button-busting dishes is his starter, Nacho Average Tower. Not your average tower. I think that's the joke. Oh, I get it. <laughs> that's quite good, actually. Some sort of tower of nachos, I'm guessing. Sounds like one of those, you know, when you see on TV where they have a hat with cheese in the top of it? Uh, no. Building with bricks and mortar is a little different to building with cheese and crisps, you know what I mean? You'd like to think so, wouldn't you? Dale starts by frying mince, then adding chopped chorizo, bacon lardons, paprika, and shop bought tomato sauce. Foundations of the tower. Being built as we speak. Beef stock cubes are sprinkled in, then chopped onions and peppers are added. Dale lets that simmer while he turns his attention to his guacamole. This is my first attempt at guacamole. Well, at least you get to do it in the privacy of your own kitchen with no one watching. Ah. Oh. Hopefully, he's made his own salsa and guacamole. I'd be impressed. Dale slices up tomatoes, avocado, and onion, then tries to blend them together in the smallest bowl in the house. I think I'll use a bigger bowl for this, you know, because it's gonna spill out. It's a terrific idea. With his ingredients housed safely in a bigger bowl, Dale sets about mashing it up with a fork and a uh, knife. Are those really the best tools for the job? I wonder if I've got a... like a mashed potato. That'd do it, wouldn't it? Well, if you don't want to be there all day. Oh, wait. That's looking the part now, isn't it? Happy with his pulp, Dale squeezes in the juice of a lime and adds coriander before dispensing some questionable culinary advice. Putting the stone back in supposedly keeps it fresh. Wrap it with cling film and that'll stop it from going brown. Bonjour. French tip, was it then? Dale packs his cooked mints into cans with cheese. Good thing about this, I like nachos. Bad thing, I don't like cheese. 
As Dale sorts out his starter, a couple of guests okay. go for a quick poke about. What have we got here? Workman. It's on the rails. Is it rails or is it bins? Well, you know fashion today. There's um, my bum look big in this. <laughs> looks something. <laughs> You're right, you get them off, cos I want another drink. Really? You want oh. me to take them off? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that. You could be in trouble here, fella. Having a poke about with Vicky was definitely as expected. Uh, uncomfortable and awkward. Paul! <laughs> definitely not. Paul, no. uh... I don't think Ash has got my sen same sense of humour. I think he's bothered about what people think about him. I'll take them off myself, then. <laughs> I'm going to back up. Oh, sorry, Dad. Back in the kitchen and Dale is checking if that French tip has worked. So much for the not stopping it from uh, going brown. Ah, c'est la vie. Dale spoons out his brown guacamole, adds nacho chips, then out come his towers. Chow, 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 chow. Nailed it. Nacho average tower. Maybe you should have nailed it. There it is, a plate of minced cheese and crisps. Bon appetit. Whoa! Oh, uh, yummy! Hold on, he said ladies first. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just pretend like you're at a mate's house having a takeaway. I was worried that it was going to be full of cheese. Yeah. But <laughs> there's none. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> there is some. Cheese isn't good for me. I ate round it as much as I could. It's really <laughs> nice because I've never it's... had a twist to it. Like with. Other bits of meat in it. That's yeah. really nice. Mm. The starter was a lot more than what I expected. It had a lot more variety in there. It was super tasty, definitely, but there was just there was quite a lot there. Um, it was very filling. And is that homemade guacamole? It is homemade guacamole. Go for on. the for the first time, mm. homemade really? guacamole. Yeah. Oh. Making my own guacamole was a bit of an experience, uh, but everyone seemed to enjoy it. Guacamole is just a spew of devils, so I didn't want to eat that. While you were slaving away. We went for a nosy and we found some nice pants. I thought you work on the rails. Yeah? Yeah. And I actually mm. thought, bin man. Nice. I'm not yes. actual not to offend you. <laughs> Ooh, not the best thing to say in front of a refuse worker. What's wrong with the bin man? <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a thing against bin men? <laughs> It's cause World War Three. <laughs> I have kind of been pulling Ash's strings a little bit. Um, I think it's not out of nastiness, it's more to get him out of himself. Actually, I'm an apprentice bricklayer. I've worked in construction for quite a few years. I knew it was construction. What did I say before with the menu? No. Dale, what's your dream job? If you could do something for, like, 24 <laughs> hours, what would you do? An astronaut. I just think the idea of floating about in space, like, there's, what, a handful of people who's ever looked at the world from that point of view, like, like that? Probably a few more than that. I think I would like to be a Prime Minister. I would make mindfulness mandatory. I would. It would well, it'd be compulsory in schools. Do you mindfulness. know what mindfulness is? I know what it is, but yeah. isn't it more of a, an I attitude don't. rather than... A, no, to wear a life. Can... Oh, we're not going here again, are we? If you think about all your chakras and things like that, they're all completely messed up nowadays. We don't meditate, we don't take time to just breathe properly. I get the chakras and the karmas and auras and all that other stuff. Becoming enlightened, eh, Rob? Garbage, in my opinion. Or well, maybe not. The country's actually built off, like, capitalistic people, so... No, yeah. but it shouldn't be like that. That's what... That's my whole point. We've completely destroyed was... the planet because of greed, because of capitalism, because of power, because of just... Yeah, Can hunger I, for, basically, for the, betterness, and why? I think the girls are joining them forces against him, trying to break him down. Little stocky lad, big lad, he can look after himself. Your theory's flawed. By the want for peace and... and What's wrong with that? Why have you I'm attacked not me? Why haven't you attacked flawed. everyone else? It's always I'm me not. you go for. Uh, definitely not. It is. I think the girls got the hint tonight that I wasn't going to bite. Not worth it. No, especially as there's still two courses to go. Starter could have been better, but I have a lot more confidence in my main. <laughs>